7th every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey. Whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack, we're here to discuss the details, and we're so happy you could join. Stamping journey. Hi. Um, I'll just wait a moment so things can get caught up. I know that there's usually a lag with our lives, but thank you everyone for joining, and I think soon I'm gonna have to say goodbye to my nails, because I got a, one fell off yesterday. It's so sad. And honestly, I, as, a, as a personal like peeve, I really, really dislike when I can start seeing the growth in between the nail and the, the art. It's a personal thing. I wish I could go longer because, you know, doing your nails takes a while, but I'm looking forward to what the next set will be. I don't know, maybe you guys can give me some, um, some ideas. I have too many ideas. That's often my problem, way too many ideas. So thank you so much for joining. Hope you guys are all in here. You guys can see everything clearly. And you know me, I love to do really easy nail design. Not everybody is into doing like the really, really complicated nail art because just because, you know, some of us don't have time. Some of us are just not feeling it. Whatever the case may be, I love doing a really simple, easy Halloween design that you can also do. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get started because we got a whole lot of stamping to do, but I'm also going to be like showing you some of our new Halloween releases because there's some really fun stuff. So actually, let me just open up with these cards. Now, I, you guys know I am a fan of full-size scraper cards. So I am completely stoked, but so I hope you guys are as well. If you haven't seen, these are our newest limited edition Halloween scraper cards. This is the full size. I actually, let me see if I have a half size scraper card, which I do. It's like less than half size. So I know in almost every live I talk about how I love a full-size scraper card. It's great for isolating. It has a lot of real estate on it. I'm, it also, when you have long nails, it just gives you more space. I love the flexibility, everything about it. So here's one design. And as you can see, it's see-through. This one is so cute. Bat to the bone. Got some candies here in this like burnt orange color. And last is these really cute spiders and spider webs. And I'm trying to see what else. I have a few other things too. Actually, I don't have the scraper card, but this is also our. Um, ice cube stamper for our Halloween season, which has this cute little witch on it with this cute little design. The scraper card matches this as well in like that purple, same purple finish. But this is the scraper card. You can find both of these items on our website already. And are you guys ready to get started? Yeah, let's get started. Before I jump in, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Um, so you never miss out on a live. I know how much you guys really love all of this really fun, inspirational, hopefully entertaining content that we bring you every Tuesday. And uh, make sure you tell everyone, subscribe. And also, we got a lot, a lot, a lot of new merch on our website. Go to www.maniology.com. Some really, really cute Halloween designs. So I don't think you want to miss out on getting a fresh batch of like a new t-shirt or a hoodie because I know for some of you it's probably getting a little cooler now. Um, okay, go visit our store. Grab your favorite pieces today. Let's see. Let me know in the comments which, which manicure would you guys like to, me to get started on? I already got my base colors prepped here. So let me know. Do you guys want me to do the serpent in the stars? 
the crime scene one or the classic witch. I won't lie. I'm... Okay, Rochelle is with me. The crime scene because every year, you know, there's always like that common Halloween theme of like, you know, the bats and stuff. And I'm not hating. I love Halloween. But for the longest time, I felt very ignored <laughs> because I love true crime. I love, um, I, I'm a, a junkie completely. I listen to a lot of podcasts and YouTube and documentaries and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, it's so cool because this is the year where I feel very seen and we release um, our murder mystery plates. There's two and I'm so stoked. So, you know what? I'm going to kick it off with that. It seems like all y'all on the same page too with me and I love it. So, let's get started with our first and uh, simple true crime crime scene nail art. Okay. Cool beans. Thank you for making this so easy for me. Let me go in. Right here, I prepped the bases. So I just have our BAM white, and this is smoke screen, okay? The, for those of you, I'm so sorry, I keep saying smoke screen, smoke show. Now for those of you who um, picked up our box of magic and already have the color made available to you it was available in the box of magic however for the rest of you if you didn't pick up the box of magic then you're just gonna have to wait until later when the items are released to everyone else but that's what I prepped the, the tips with now again I love doing a really simple manicure that doesn't take a lot of you know colors so here today we're just going to be using Bam white. I got the straight up black and cherry bomb. And then the smoke show as the base. Okay. And let me look for the plate that I need. This is the plate that I was telling you all about. This is one of two true crime or murder mystery plates that we just released this year. This is M395 this year, as if it's been out this whole time, um, just last week. And I think this is really cool. The newspaper comes out really, really cool. I'm gonna actually use that in the manicure if you haven't noticed that. So. Let's stop talking. Let's just get into the art, right? Right. And for any of you, um, what do you call, like Hannibal Lecter? What do you call, fans? Yeah. Okay. Just because I'm so excited, let's go ahead. I'm just gonna start with that newspaper design. Really, really into it. And it's so nice to do art, you only using like one or two plates and very limited polish colors. You can still come up with a really cool design. You don't need to do something super, super fancy. Look how cool. Okay. I did actually get a little piece missing over there, but not to worry. I'll take care of that. And what I'm going to do is just kind of stamp that a portion of the newspaper again. Let's see. OK, 
Okay, I think I'm really pushing it here. Let's see how, and I like the fact that it's distressed. So let's see how well this picks up even though I didn't clean the plate. Hey, not bad, not bad. So I'm just gonna go in here You don't have to really line it up all that much. There you go. So now I just filled in that little space. And that design is good to go. I love how this turned out. Okay. The next part of the design I'm going to go in, I got to clean up a little bit over here. And I'm going to grab that moth that I just featured right here. And go in with my white. Now the same moth we're gonna pick up multiple times to fit over that finger. Just taking some tape and removing some bits. So I'm just gonna go in and stamp one part. Now I'm gonna pick up that same design and do this part over again. I want a nice clean. I want to ensure that I'm gonna get a nice pickup, so. Let's clean that and repeat the process over again. Let's do that one more time. Okay, and there you go. Another design down. Don't you love how quick this look is kind of coming together? So for the middle finger, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this design. It says crew trying Wow, true crime obsessed. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with the black. And I promise, I know I often get comments that say, oh, Tiani, you make it look so easy. I promise it is that easy. Only using one plate, a few designs, maybe making up some stuff as I go, but it is really that simple. I'm not doing anything fancy. Center it and there's your middle finger. Now we're moving on to the ring finger, which I'm gonna pick up the design right under that, the true crime, which is this really cool thumbnail skull. Really cool design. I'm gonna go in with white. And also this stamper has come right out of the box. I didn't have to do anything to it. It works. Let's just go ahead and center that. Ring finger, done. We're already about 80% done with the look. 
OK. The last part I will leave for, no, I'll just do it now. Alrighty, I am actually out. I should have had something over here. Darn it. Oh, this works. Okay. This is actually the plastic that the, um, what do you call, the scraper cards came in. But I'm just going to use that because actually I would normally use the back of the sticky stamper station, but I actually don't have one here. So we got to make do. And I'm going to go ahead and grab either like a brush or a dotting tool. And now we're going to use Cherry Bomb. Now for this, this is kind of like a little fun technique that I like to use for like uh, blood. So I just kind of do whatever. And, well, actually, I don't even really need the tool unless you see some spots that maybe are too thick that you want to kind of thicken up, I mean, thin out. So let's go with our stamper and I just stamp, picking up some of those parts. And I'll just stamp it onto the nail like that. Kind of making it look like blood. And you can keep repeating this process as much as you want. And see what your stamper will kind of pick up. I like to have like more feathery looks in the blood, but I guess, you know, I get what I get right now. I'm going for, I guess, like a hack, hack sawed look. Okay. Let me leave that there. Oops. And now I'm going to go in with a brush. I'm going to use this flat brush here. Going in with that same cherry bomb. I'm going to put some on my plastic here. And just on the I didn't do this on the first design, but I thought eh, maybe I can kind of do it. Kind of add a little bit of, I guess, like stippling, like so just softly adding some marks. Okay. I'm also going to do the same technique going in with the over here. I'm just going to put some over the skull a little, kind of making it look like blood. So I'm just li really lightly stippling this onto the nail art. So if you find that this is getting a little too dry, just go ahead and clean your brush off, which is what I'm doing right now. Just take some acetone. And go ahead and add some more cherry balm.
anything. I'm going to kind of soften that out a little. I'm gonna add a little bit more movement into the design. That's one nail down. And now I'm gonna add some red to the moths here. Continuing that same technique. Kind of adding it to the wings. And there you go. Here is our true crime. Let's see. Come on, focus. Trying to see, it's like, does that look clear? I'm so happy with how this came out. What do you guys think? Give me some skulls if you like how this turned out. I'm super stoked. But look how simple that was. One plate, a few colors, and that's it. I'm even gonna do something that's even more simple, if that's even possible, okay? Clean up some of this. And we're gonna do the serpent design. Serpent in the stars. Right here, I just have Monarch Dream. Monarch Dream is a color that we're currently just selling in our um, Electro Glow collection. So you can still find it, but just not individually. So if you have Electro Glow, then you do have this color. And that is what I put on as our base. And for this, I am going to use two plates, but really, really simple concept. And I'm only using one polish, which is this, this is Ocean Depths. You can't even see that, it doesn't wanna focus. This is such a gorgeous teal, teal greeny, it's, it's gorgeous. So I'll be using this plate here, 366. This is our newest um, release, currently on our site right now. So it has like tarot cards with new imagery doesn't look like our current um, tarot cards and I love the fact that you can just pick your frame and put any of these designs in any of these rectangles and this M361 because I'm going to be using a lot of these constellation images on some of the nails okay so let's go ahead and make a start. This I'm gonna focus actually on the, um, the middle finger because that's gonna be kind of like the focal point. So I'm gonna use that image. M361 actually is uh, one of my favorite designs too. And um, I'm using it actually on my own nail as well. I've used it on the background. I was using it on this thumb. So I do use it a lot as well. It's a fun plate, a lot of small imagery, which I enjoy. Look how pretty that color is. Gorgeous, gorgeous pickup. Like I said, we're focusing on the middle finger first and I'm just gonna lay those cards right down 
and there you go. Let me just move this around so you can see just how pretty ocean depths is. Very, very pretty color. Oh, ocean floor, yes, ocean floor. I'm just out here making my own colors too because I was calling it smoke screen and it's not that smoke show. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in. I really like this design. Honestly, you could change it up. If you don't like the lovers, cause I use the lovers and I use the moon design, the moon, you can choose any, any design you want. But I kind of want to tie in the, the serpent design from the middle finger. And I'm feeling snakes. There you go. So if you just had purple nails or whatever color nails, then you can just easily put this design on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the pointer finger. So like I said, I'm gonna do the moon. So much imagery to use. And it's perfect if you don't have large long nails too to fit the card. Just go ahead and stamp this onto your your nail. Okay, so now I am done with that. And I'm coming in with 351 and I'm gonna go ahead and just add some constellations. I don't want the naming of the constellations, I just want the stars. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on. So let's go take some designs from here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and isolate the names of the stars. There you go. I'm gonna add some stars where I feel like I need them. If it feels a little too bare for you. Let's see. That is why I love this plate. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing, repeating that concept with the pinky as well. Aren't the colors gorgeous, right? I know, it's such a pretty, pretty. And actually, I mean, I know maybe the colors seem kind of like, oh, I wouldn't have ever thought to put those colors together, but Green and purple are complementary colors. So kind of makes sense why it goes together. Let's see. Trying to add some more stars. And look at that. Two colors, super, super simple. And just like that, you're done. Go ahead and put your no smudge top coat and this look, you're good to go. Look at that, it's only been a half an hour into the live and I've already done two manicured looks. Isn't that cool? 
moving on to the last look. Okay. Ah, we are doing a French look with some simple stamping. Well, actually, I'm gonna be using two plates for this. We're gonna be using our classic French plate, which is M052. So I'm gonna be using like the, the deeper U French here designs. And this is our new 398. I think it's called Gradient, Gradient Halloween. Great plate to use on its own, but I'm actually gonna take two of these designs and I am going to turn it into a manicured look. Okay. So here, we're gonna go in with our black and I am going to pick up the, the boo. Oop, totally did not clean this plate. I mean, my stamper. Not a clean enough stamp. That's what I get for not checking on my stamper. Now we're good to go. So let's try that again. This time I'm gonna use my cotton crapper. Acetone really dries out your skin. I already have dry cuticles right now too, so I'm like no, no more dry cuticles. Okay, so let's try that again. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys, the base right here is just Luna, which is an extremely, extremely soft gray, a beautiful, substitute for white if you're looking for just like a color that's not so stark white great color so now i'm going to go with my ring finger and stamp on those cute little boos cute little ghosts And now I'm going to pick up the bat gradient here. So I think when we say we say gradient, because I know some people are like, what is that? That's not what it means. But gradient meaning that you know the picture itself has depth, like it is a gradient of like in this case smaller to bigger bats kind of thing. So the perspective is different. So we're just gonna go ahead and stamp that onto the middle finger. And that's all for this plate. Now we're gonna come in, let's see. Now that I have these two designs, actually, let me work on just finishing up that look. We're kind of gonna come in with this orange pumpkin head. And I'm now going to make my um, French design. When you use this plate, make sure you angle your scraper card as flat as you possibly can. So you're not digging out the polish and you get a really nice pickup like how I did here. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this onto the nail just like that. Okay, now I know you guys can see that you can still see through the black, just color theory. Black is a much darker color than orange, but no biggie. Um, with this, I actually prefer to go in twice anyway, just to kind of get uh, a brighter orange. So I'm just gonna repeat this process and I'm gonna do that over and over here. 
I feel like for me, it also helps to perfect um, the shape of the French too. And when you're stamping, you know, each paint pickup is so thin, so. You definitely want more coverage there. And there you go. I'm gonna go in. I feel like I need to kind of angle that out a little. Okay. So I know we still see some black over here. You can continue that process as much as you want. You see when you stamp, one more time. I think I'm kind of pushing it right here. And don't worry, once you put your top coat on, you're not going to see any of these layers anyway, but it starts to get more opaque. And that's kind of the look you're going for. Because you don't want the base to be see through. So that is one nail. And now I'm going to do this process again with the ring finger. Going in with that same orange, same size. Just want to make sure I have good coverage. Okay. And there you go. I'm going to repeat the process over again so it won't be so um, see-through. So let's clean this off. My bad. That actually looked a little too wet before I picked it up, and I kind of had a feeling that that's where it was heading. So I'm going to do that again. <laughs> so the object here is lightly, <laughs> but not too light, before you kind of leave too much polish onto the plate like that. And I think after you've done stamping enough times, you kind of can see where your stamp is going. If it looks a little too wet on the plate, it'll probably look a little too wet on the pickup too. So this one looks a lot better. Not as streaky as the previous one, and I was right. Bringing back in my ring finger, and now I'm gonna come back in. Cover my booze. I don't know, instead of calling them ghosts, booze sounds like a much better name. Okay, there you go. So now I'm gonna repeat that process going with the black for the rest of the nails. piece of tape here. So here's a trick. Don't have a sticky stamper station, don't worry. Use your scotch tape. This is me today. I have scotch tape on my hand. And there you go. Works just as well. Okay. Ooh.
And now I'm going in with the black. Stay with the same size and now I'm gonna work on the pointer finger. There you go. I'm gonna do that process one more time. So with this technique, I'm kind of doing a little sharper V. I didn't want like an extremely sharp V, but I didn't want like a really flat V, so, or U shape. I'm talking about the curvature over here, so. Totally could have used that with my scraper card, but instead I, I did it that way. Oh well. Perfect. And there you go. Repeat that process for the last two nails. Let's go and do the pinky. Our black is opaque enough. I just wanted to kind of straighten out that curvature. So I had more of a curve because the other one came out a little flat. So I'm going to go in with a slightly bigger um, size than the pinky. And I just kind of like to do that because I just feel like it gives me more real estate to center. <laughs> That's just me. see like that there's like a flat line so I'm gonna come back in do the process over again and we are gonna get that curved out this plate is so helpful and it's so classic too because you can do any type of French you want for any time of the season. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I don't know if you guys can tell in the live, but when I, um, I don't just stamp it down. I actually, tr I'm trying to lightly drag it down on the nail. So it creates that really nice U shape. So lastly, we got the thumb and I'm going all the way to the big guns over here. For any of you who have this plate, have you used it on your toes? Not a big deal, but I'm still gonna use it. Okay. Okay, yep, not a big deal. I'm gonna go in again. So as you can see, this is definitely the manicure that's taking the longest. Even though it looks really simple, doing the French tip and trying to get it as perfect as possible, or to your liking at least, um, can definitely take a long time. Longer time. Still very simple to do, just longer than the other two manicures I did in comparison. But can I do it? I think I could finish this live under an hour with three 
looks done. What do you guys think? I think it would be a challenge, but I think I could do it. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm like pushing it, pushing my stamper to kind of get to that curvature, that proper curvature I need. Okay. Of course, this is me. I'm trying to make sure that this part is not like that. It's gonna bug me. Should I try? Mm. No, you know what? If you have something like that, don't keep messing with it. I'm sure if I stamp one more time, it'll take care of it because mistakes will end up happening and then I'll end up getting all fussy and let's not do that. I'm just going to fix it by going in one more time. Not a big deal. Okay. I kind of lightly fixed it. But here you go. Oh, did I do it? I managed to get you all three Halloween, simple, easy Halloween manicured looks in under 60 minutes. That's pretty awesome, actually. Let me see. Okay, just because I'm trying to be extra over here and it's Halloween season. Let's see, how does how does this look if I put in like a fancy, fancy, schmancy background? Does that look better? I don't know, does that look any better to you guys? But this is what we did today. This is so cool. I, I think I'm partial to the true crime one too, just because again, I have been looking forward to a true crime, several plates, but you know, I'll settle with two. But you know, obviously the, the theme of something like that is very gruesome, you know, a lot, we don't have to get into the, the darker details of the, the true crime and stuff. So, I mean, I don't think that there's much, I think we did a really good job of what is appropriate to put on your nails, what people would actually consider wearing if, you know, that's something that they're into. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments, do you guys have a fave? I love, I love the look, the newspaper, everything. I saw some comments that said that this looks like Harry Potter. It totally does, um, with the, the serious black. Super, super cool. I love, 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 love the co color combination of this. And of course, love the simplicity of the stars and the tarot and everything like that can't go wrong, can never go wrong with a classic, you know, quintessential black and orange manicure with the French and just adding some cute little accents for Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's live. Can't believe we marathon this out in under 60 minutes. But I hope that these are manicures that you guys are going to want to do for yourself oh my gosh this is not coming out very clear i'm like okay let's see can i get can we can we do this let's go a little close up here this is the first time i've actually taken off my camera to come in a little closer okay 
Let's try and do this. That looks a little better. Really fun. Love the colors. And I'm partial to teal. So. Move on the side. Figure I try and do some something that looks a little different, but I don't know, doing it this way doesn't seem to really be helping very much. Either way, thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget to subscribe and um, share with us if you decide to do any of these designs yourself. And nail art doesn't have to be complicated, guys. We don't have to always do the whole reverse stamping and, and get really deep and because you can still come up with some really cool nail art just by putting on a fun little stamp on it. So hope you guys enjoyed today. Take care, have a nice Tuesday, and we'll see you in the next live. Bye.